Oak Park family, as previously stated, today is our homecoming celebration here at the Park Church. This is the time we pause as a church family to reflect on what God has done in the life of the Park Church for 109 years. A ministry that was organized from a successful prayer band in the First Ward section of Charlotte in 1913. The prayer band met at 38 Browns Row. The congregation remained intact through World War I, the Roaring Twenties, and the Depression. Under the leadership of Reverend Winfield Scott, the church moved to 613 North Meyer Street in 1932. In 1953, through the divinely led wisdom and guidance of Reverend M. L. Davidson, the congregation was inspired to move to a new location. Mount Olive Baptist Church became the name of the church at that time. The dreams of Mount Olive were shattered on the first Sunday in February, 1959, when the church was destroyed by fire. After the fire, the congregation held its services in the cafeteria of the First Ward School. Then in 1961, Mount Olive relocated and rebranded the ministry under the leadership of Reverend L.J. Shipman. C.D. Spangler and his son donated the land and $2,000. The Myers Park Baptist Church and their minister, Dr. Carlisle Marney, provided invaluable assistance in acquiring and managing the funding for the building. The church was completed and dedicated as University Park Baptist Church on November the 13th, 1961. Very unusual for that time, Dr. Marney preached the dedicatory service, which was attended by many of his members. The University Park Baptist Church continued to grow in 1964 under the new leadership of Reverend Talmadge Watkins and in 1971 under Reverend James E. Palmer. Under his leadership, many worthwhile programs were added to the Christian activities of the church, such as the bust ministry, the tape and audio ministry, the daycare ministry, evangelism ministry, and the camp for the youth. It became necessary to build a new edifice, which was dedicated on January the 10th, 1982 at 2348 Keller Avenue. On September the 23rd, 1990, the longest tenured pastor of the University Park Baptist Church would be installed in the person of Reverend Claude Richard Alexander Jr. The beginning of his tenure resulted in a renewed focus on missions especially in our own community. Pastor Alexander instituted additional programs to win the loss to Christ. These programs, just to name a few, include global missions, counseling drug, AIDS victims, and ministering to the youth. The steps toward the vision of the park began in December of 1995, when the church commissioned a feasibility study to determine the possibility of modifying our current site to meet the present needs. At that time, the congregation size had peaked at 1,000 members. In 1997, the church tripled in size. A master plan was then developed and presented to the congregation in January of 1997. The plan included the construction of a sanctuary, family life center and gymnasium, residences for senior citizens, and the development of a residential community. A dramatic change was moving from a congregation numbering from 1,300 in January of 97 to one that was reaching 4,000 by September of 99. The church went from offering two morning worship services to four. Ground was broken in September of 1999 for the new facility on 54 acres in North Charlotte. And in April 2001, the first service in the new church, University Park Baptist Church II, located at 6029 Beatty Sword Road was held. Members entered the new facility on Easter Sunday, following a weekend of celebration that included the unveiling of a cross sculpture by world-renowned artist Richard Hunt. The new location seats a capacity of 2,500. It features a bookstore, family life and wellness center, 
audio and television production rooms, nurseries, and many other services to meet the needs of the members and the community. The design of the facility was based upon who the park, as it was fondly called, was as a church and what God called its members to do for the kingdom in their community throughout Charlotte and beyond. But the vision continued to grow. Having developed a strong presence in North Charlotte for 90 years, the park expanded its reach by opening a location in the South Charlotte community. The church expanded with the planting of the Park South Church in October 2002. After hosting services in the South Mecklenburg High School Auditorium for more than a year, a new sanctuary was dedicated on August the 22nd, 2004. This facility rests on 46 acres within the city limits of Pineville, North Carolina. The sanctuary has a seating capacity of 1,100, a bookstore, nursery, and classrooms. The campus also has a family life and wellness center. In 2006, the Park Church made another kingdom-sized move under the leadership of Bishop Alexander. The Park Church purchased the Charlotte Merchandise Mark making it one of the few churches in the nation to fuse enterprise and ministry models. With the addition of the Park Expo and Conference Center, which was formerly the Charlotte Merchandise Mark, the Park Church offers a multifaceted destination that includes conference and banquet space, restaurants and retail development, as well as exhibition space for trade shows totaling 529,000 square feet across three buildings. The Park Expo and Conference Center is designed to fund ministry expansion through profits generated by trade shows, local and national conferences, concerts, and other business endeavors. In fact, it is here that for the past 10 days, we have done just that with the hosting of the Southern Christmas Show where over 100,000 people converge on that site over a 10-day period. Park family, we have so much to give God praise for. God has used this congregation to make impact around the globe for 109 years. He has used different tools and resources, and we have been led by different leaders. But God has always been there to see us through, and that certainly is the case today. Today, we wanted to take a moment to make sure you are aware of how rich this legacy really is. Please take a moment to visit our website and view the history of the park and make sure your children know that God has been with us and leading us for 109 years and will continue to do so as we move forward into the future. Well, Park family, enjoy your anniversary and let's continue to extend the love life and lordship of Jesus Christ to the world. God bless you and have a happy and safe Thanksgiving.